Hello, my name is Carlo Bergamini, Dynamics 365 Business Central and Dynamics Nav Project Manager and Senior Consultant here at Western Computer. In this video, I'm going to talk about recurring purchase lines. So let's take a look at how we can create recurring purchase order lines for a specific vendor. Let's go to vendors and we will choose a specific vendor. And we're going to go to navigate purchases, recurring purchase lines. When you want to create an order repetitively over and over and over, it helps the user not have to re-enter it at a manual basis, line by line by line, and it keeps in stores what you typically purchase at a periodic basis. So within the recurrent purchase lines of that specific vendor, I took the liberty and created a code already, and I just called it reorder. Code could be alphanumeric, could be anything you want it to be to reference what you want to quote unquote reorder. I have the option to manually bring it into the sales order lines or make it automatically bring it in. So because I have it on quotes, I have it on orders and invoices and credit memos. For the orders and only the orders, I'm gonna have it automatically come in when I choose this vendor. Let's look at the details. So I'm gonna to go to card. So for my code of my reorder, I listed a bunch of items that I would typically reorder on a consistent basis with this vendor. And you'll see each individual line, I have a specific quantity. And this is basically saying every time I reorder, I always order eight chairs of different colors and different brands. I could always add to it. I could just choose an item. And if I want to add to this, I always want to order two pedestals with it. So I could continue to add, and conversely, I could take away. If I don't like this line anymore, I could take that away and then remove it. So I got, again, now my set reorder point for this vendor. So now that I have that set up, let's go to an order. So I'm on, still on this vendor card. It's a shortcut way of getting into it. So I'm going to say purchase order. Worldwide import. And I'm going to go to actions. Function. Get recovery order points. Here's my reorder. Click OK. And now you will see, let me show less here. Now you will see all of my lines that automatically came in with its respective quantities based on my reorder point of the setup on the vendor card for my recurring purchase lines. From here, I could still adjust if I want to change my quantities. I could say, you want to know what? I'm going to order 12 of these, maybe six of these, and so forth. So I could adjust because what it just did is it just automatically created my lines for me so I don't have to mainly bring them in every single time. This allows you to bring in those lines, but I can adjust as needed, i.e. the quantities I just mentioned. If I decide I don't want this last line, I could simply delete the line because again, it's only on the order. So once it's on the order, you have the liberty to make changes. I could add if I wanted to. So as such as much as I deleted, I could also add. So I could add, delete, modify, once those recurring lines are on the purchase order. Now at this point, the standard purchase order process will take place. Hope this helps. Thank you for spending some time watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date on all things Microsoft Dynamics. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks again.